So, um, Garrett, the reason I was calling you is because, as I said, Pat and I work together, and uh, he just asked me to give you a quick call because um, at our job we have some positions open, and we're conducting interviews this week to fill some of those. And the managers asked Pat if he knew anybody that would be a good fit for us, and he mentioned you. He said you're a good guy. So I just wanted to call and ask you a couple questions, tell you about what we do, and if things sound good, we might be able to set you up for a time to meet with the manager. So have you, have you graduated high school, Garrett? All right, cool. Where'd you go to high school? I'm sorry? Oh, you did? Cool, cool. So do you know... Um, yeah, I think he, I think uh, Pat mentioned that. Um, do you know Pat Plord? That's cool. Pat actually worked here last summer uh, and his winter break before that. So you've probably heard about us. I'm not sure if uh, Pat Dunford told you anything about his job now, but the company is uh, Vector Marketing. It's a huge student program. Have you heard of us before, Garrett? Oh, okay. Well, uh, all right. Well, we work with like colleges nationwide. So... Uh, the company's been around since 1981, and the position you would be interviewing for is entry-level customer work with flexible schedules and a base pay of $18.25, which is not based on sales at all, Garrett. Um, and what would you, you would be doing is working with customers, explaining products, answering questions, helping them place orders. Do you like working with people? All right, cool. Yeah, I figured since, uh, you know, Pat said you're a good guy, you probably are good with people. Um so how do you know Pat? Did you do you go to Tunxis or did you? Oh, cool. So that's how you guys know each other. It's awesome. So are you also um, are you a criminal justice major? Okay, cool. So I figured if you guys have classes together, you want to be a cop. That's really cool. My uncle just retired as a cop, and uh, yeah, he well he was he was in the force in New York City for a while. And then he became, um, and then he became a uh, detective. So he's actually like the scariest guy that I ever talked to, and he's my uncle. You know, <laughs> I could only imagine if <laughs> I was actually in trouble. But uh, hey, I mean, Gary, you sound like you're a nice guy. Um, so what I'd like to do for you, real quick, is invite you in for an interview. And you go to Tunxis, so our office is right like a mile away from that. Um, yeah, and that way we could get to know you better and see if you'd qualify for work with us. And also so you can check us out and make sure the job would be a good fit for you as well. So can you walk me through your schedule for the next few days so, and I could see if I could make something work? Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, let me just look into it. Um, so you have an internship in Waterbury tomorrow? That's cool. For criminal justice, are you like uh, working in a police station or something? Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. So what, just so I know, Garrett, because my manager is looking to fill up the, you know, make the decisions on the positions as soon as possible. What time is your internship tomorrow? Okay, and you get back 5 p.m.? Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm just looking at my manager's schedule, Garrett, and uh, he has an opening at 6 tomorrow, which, I mean, if you get back at 5, we're a mile away from Tunxis, and if you went to Bristol Eastern, do you live in Bristol? Oh, wow, okay. So, I mean, it might actually work out perfectly. You could hop in the shower, grab some food, after your internship and then hop over the interview will be pretty quick do you think you can make six o'clock cool all right yeah that works out really well um what i could do garrett is i'll just uh, shoot you over an email um uh, to confirm it and i'll also give you some real quick directions but since you know where tungsis is it's really easy to find us um what's your email i could send a confirmation to And then is it R M I R M I N A? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who got it? All right. Well, I'll shoot over an email to you. It's going to have the address, but I'd like to give you some directions anyway. 
um, just so you're clear on it. And do you want us to send you a quick text message interview reminder? All right, that sounds good. Well, do you have a quick, uh, do you have a pen and paper? I just want to give you the phone number for our office. This is actually my cell phone, so um, I, I just want to give you the, the phone number for the office in case you have any trouble finding us. All right, you ready? It's 269, yep, 8666. Yep, and yeah, it's 860. All right, so real quick, um, I want you to know, Gary, and you could write this in as well, the address to our office is 1533 New Britain Avenue. Do you know where New Britain Avenue is? Yeah, so from Tunxis, it's three traffic lights down. You make a left onto New Britain. And cool. We're going to be the third building on the right hand side. Yeah, it's, it's actually really, really easy to find us. Um, but again, if you have any trouble, you can give us a call. And Garrett, just to check, so are you 100% sure that's an interview time you can make? Okay, I would just hate to tell a manager to take time out of their schedule and it doesn't work out because I simply didn't check. But perfect. So, Garrett, you're all set. Um, I'll probably be here when you come in. So, my name is Justin. Um, and just, uh, just introduce yourself to me and, and I'll help you get all set up. And uh, I'll, I'll know that you're Pat Dunford's friend. I'll make sure that you're all set up and everything. And I'm sure things will go well. You sound like a really nice guy. And, uh, you know, Pat's, Pat's an awesome guy. So, that's. That's why the man dressed him if he knew anybody. But good luck in your interview, Garrett. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if I were you, I would wear, like, a uh, shirt and tie if you can. All right, that's great. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. It's good talking to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, some things to, to mention. Just notice that I uh, name-dropped other people that he knows um, from his high school. And, uh, I mean, I'm just laid back, chill. Uh, the opening, I think the first 30 seconds is the most important 30 seconds of that phone call where I call and I just say, hey, Garrett, what's up? Hey, this is Justin. Uh, and, and his response was, oh, hey. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, man, I don't think we've met yet, but I know Pat Dunford. And he's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah we work together. Um, that is the most important part of the phone call, I think, just being casual. Too many receptionists and too many people calling PRs will just call and, and act professional. Hello, Garrett. This is Justin from Vector. They don't care where you're from, all right? They just want to know why you're calling. But the first and most important thing is being comfortable. So that would be my tip for you, all right? And uh, hopefully you get something out of